wasting time waiting for people to get here we dropped from 40 on the other live to eight here we have a lot to do today so what I want to ask you to do while I calm down and get over my anger at YouTube I swear they try to make life as hard for creators as they can three years of trying to figure out how to schedule a live and actually use it so I today have planned um, It'll be like 30 minutes from now, but what we'll do is right now I'm going to start cooking and I'm going to pour me a drink and stuff that I've made ahead of time. And I'm going to talk to you about solstice and why we celebrate it. I woke up this morning and I'm like looking around, going to neighbors, seeing like what everyone's doing for today to celebrate. And then I remembered, oh yeah, nobody celebrates solstice, <laughs> but we're going to do that today. Uh, and I set up some stuff to cook, so I'll be getting that out and cooking, and we're going to talk about solstice. And then at 1.30, we're going to drum. I'm going to pull runes for you to give you what it is that you need to be working on until the winter solstice. And I'm going to answer your questions. So give me a few minutes to get stuff out of the refrigerator. We had a good time last night in my private communities, and I gave away a free week like just use free week coupon on my private patron community. And we did a Zoom last night and I sat here and prepared food and stuff while we talked, it was really fun. So let me grab my food out and get ready to cook. So I've got, zucchini and squash that's been sauteing. So I'm gonna go in and put it in the oven while it's heating up. So I'm not putting cold glass in a hot oven. And then I made asparagus. I made asparagus eye. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to find comments from you guys. Love chat, let's see. Oh, there they are. Hey, Philip. First time I've caught you live. I keep missing the Zooms. Hello. Well, you're very welcome, my friend. Let's see. Oh, hey, Gandalf. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, It won't let me scroll back through the chat. That's not good. Why won't it let me do that? Sorry, it's shaky. My, uh, this is a whole new, like, tripod setup, and I don't like it. Yeah, the wall. Let's see, top chat. Um, yee, the kitchen looks wonderful. Thanks, Eric, man. I don't know if y'all followed my saga last summer trying to get this made, but it was in the middle of that whole boom of everybody doing, I don't know, stuff to their houses, renovating, and then the prices of everything shot up, and then everything was unavailable, and there were long delays, so like I was without a kitchen for, I think, nine months total? All right, I'm still trying to figure out how to keep the chat up here. All messages visible. Let's see, howdy, don't worry, it's just no scrolling yet. I don't know what that means, no scrolling yet. Like, I can't go back and see, and one of the activities I'm gonna be doing today, I need to be able to scroll back through the chat. Cause I'm gonna be, for those of you who are new, I'm gonna be pulling your runes today to tell you what it is that you need to be working on until winter solstice. Um, I'm cooking, we're gonna eat, we're gonna taste the ice cream. Hey, Natalia, thanks, I have fun. I love to be stupid and look silly and play. It is a day to celebrate and play. So we have a lot to do today, we're gonna drum and everything. So one of the things that I need to ask you to do, I have macular degeneration, but my eyes are better since so much, oh cool. Dude, I'm hearing that from a lot of people since I made that video, so many people have been saying that and commenting. That's really great, Eric. Um, so I need all of you guys to get some stuff together. Thank you, Beige. Hey, Beige. Um, for today. 
I need you to get something to drum on, even if it's a pot and a wooden spoon. I need you to get something to drink. Yeah, you did, Julie. I'm sorry you missed it too. I was thinking about doing another one next weekend. I might do another one next weekend. I need you to get something to drum with. I need you to get something to drink. And I need you to get paper and something to write with. We're gonna be moving pretty quickly and I need you to have everything ready. So walk away and get all those things. I've got my thing to drink. I need. I made cherry lemonade from scratch last night, so I'm gonna get that. Well, it's actually cherry lemon limeade. I sat here last night while we were, uh, there's no alcohol in it. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Ever since Amanita, I can't drink alcohol. It makes me sick, which is fine because I've got plenty of other entheogens to use. But last night I sat here and I cut up lemons and limes and cherries and squeezed them all in here and made this for today. And these are my asparagus eye. I'm gonna heat them up. And in the oven cooking, I have squash and zucchini that I soft, uh, put in a marinade last night. Um, and then I've got my drum here. We're gonna drum later. So make sure that y'all get something to drink and your thing that you're gonna drum with and some paper and something to write with. Cause once we get started, we're gonna move pretty quickly. So I'm pouring my drink, my lemon lime cherry aid. Woo, look at them chars. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's ridiculous and it's so good. Why do people join and then leave? You think it's just like random people that don't know who I am? That just see somebody's live and they cruise lives or something? That's weird. All right, I'm gonna be unveiling the birdhouse that I painted. If y'all saw the anniversary video that I made for you, stay, not stay, oh, hey, Tech. oh, hey, Tiff. Not staying, but been impossible to reach you. So happy belated and call me sometime. I'm so sorry, I've been so busy. I feel so bad, Tiffany. Uh, you're going to make a specialty rebooting for the chat to work. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, get your specialty. Thanks for the uh, special chat, super chat also, Tiffany. And thank you for saying hi. I know you don't like these lives. Tiffany's been hanging with me for two years now. Again, for the people who are new here <laughs> that are just joining us, this is a special solstice anniversary celebration. And what I'm going to do is talk to you about solstice and what summer solstice means and why we celebrate it. Then we're going to drum together. So I need you to have something to play, even if it's a paper thing or the back of a pot or pan with a wooden thing. Steven, oh my God. Hey, my Canadian friend. And then I need you to get yourself something to drink, make it special if you'd like. And then I'm going to be pulling your rune. And that's why I need you to have something to write with and write on so you can draw your rune and look it up later. Because I don't have time to do any interpretations for you guys. But, oh, and then we're going to unveil the birdhouse that I painted. So if you haven't seen the anniversary video, uh, I can't help you now. And then I'm going to taste the ice cream that I made. If you haven't seen the ice cream video, can't help you now. <laughs> Watching from New Zealand. Oh my God, what time is it there? Can you tell me what time it is there? So I'll be unveiling the birdhouse that I painted. This is so fun, y'all. Thank you for being here with me. It's like 35 people for a live isn't very many. But then if I think about 35 people in this kitchen in my house for a party, it's a lot. Oh, yay, some guy. Are you going to be coming to Switzerland? Or are you the host under a different name? Y'all, I am so psyched about the Switzerland. It's going to be my first one uh, in Europe that I'll be doing in Europe and harvesting amanita while I'm there. I'm doing my first outside ceremony around a fire in Montana here. The one in Switzerland will be my second outdoor one. And we are gonna raise a ruckus. Happy uh, solstice, you guys. We're gonna be talking about it here soon, so. Oh, Jesus Christ, seriously? 2.45 in the morning in Australia? Wow, I'm honored. Thank you for joining me. So we've still got some time until the actual solstice. Uh, hi, well, welcome then. Thanks, Philip. And it doesn't matter. You can't say that solstice is on any one day. 
because it's an event, you know, it's a celestial event and everything is always in motion and moving. So they'll put it on the calendar as a particular day, but it depends on where you are on the earth as to when everything is gonna, let's see, so much looking forward to it. Living, oh, I know, right, me too. Forage in Sweden in August. Hey, I'll be in Sweden at the the week. No, I'm not. Never mind. Okay, the schedule changed. I'm going to Poland, to Warsaw. Then I'm going to Switzerland. Then Sweden. It's, the schedule got changed. I have a shaman. My shaman that teaches me lives in Sweden. So I'm going to go forage with him and work with him and do ceremony with him after Switzerland. And in Poland, I'm going to interview Ava Maciejczyk, the researcher, for the documentary. So that's cool. So one more time, I'm giving you your last warning. Get you something to drink. Get you something to drum or drum on or drum with. And get you paper and something to write with so that we can do your runes. And then I'll be unveiling the birdhouse. And then I'm going to be eating in front of you. <laughs> Sorry. And then we're going to be tasting the ice cream that I made. So if you haven't seen the anniversary video, you don't know about the birdhouse. And if you haven't seen the ice cream video, you don't know about the ice cream. So I'm sorry. And if I could ask you to sub to the channel, that would be great. I am shadow banned so badly it's disgusting. And the more subs I have, the better the chances that the few people that YouTube pushes my videos to would say, oh my God, thank you, Karen. Aw, Ann Arbor. You know that's where I did my eight and a half grams of psilocybin. If you haven't seen that video, it's on amanitadreamer.net. I went to psilocybin. Well, I went to psilocybin. I went to Ann Arbor to do psilocybin. It was the closest place I could drive to that it had been decriminalized. I love Ann Arbor. It is such a cool town. My God. Your downtown area, that place is cool. All right, so I've got my food in the oven. I'm gonna heat this up later. We're about to start uh, getting busy. I'm going to tell you my store is open. I want to just show you some of the postcards that are coming soon. Each month I do different postcards. Incredible, been watching years now. Oh my God. Thank you. This is so great. Aw, thank you for the super chat. Y'all are so sweet. Aw, y'all's comments keep disappearing. Aww. All messages are visible. Here we go. I saw it, loved it. I recognized when you were in Carytown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Good, good. I wondered if people would recognize their area. Oh, thank you, Rykeo. Hey, Dee. How are you? Y'all are so freaking awesome. What would I do without you guys, man? I'd be celebrating alone. This is so cool. The live keep the chat keeps going away, but it pops back up. So, so either these are um some of the postcards. I have so 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 many. I'm not showing you the one that's coming with this. Stephen, thank you. Aw, and you picked a lemon. You're so thoughtful, man. Um, Eric, what did you say? Yeah, I'm glad you caught the live too. D. Okay, here we go. You found psilocybes in your compost? Seriously? People tell me that. People tell me that, that they find it in their compost. And then I've been going nuts making stickers and I give stickers away in my orders on my store. These are some of my stickers. But I'm not going to tell you guys what's coming this month. All of the special anniversary items sold out in my store, but all my regular items are still in stock. <laughs> LMP Eco Art. Cheers, beautiful. Ah, oh, it's fading away. Don't go away. Oh, the chats keep disappearing. Cheers, beautiful. Happy solstice. Watching you for a year. Oh my God. That's so great to hear. Thank you for being here. You're a legend. Many will join you and move it all forward. We have some surprises when you come to Switzerland. Oh my God. Yay. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Um, I have never had 40 people in a live, and we've got 35, 36. We'll see. Stickers, a.k.a. slaps. Why, thank you. I've been getting really creative. 
Is there a particular one that you like? Anyway, if you order something, you get them free. Oh my God, thank you for the black cat, Julie. That's Freya, right? Thanks, Dynamo, for the reminder. I don't think to tell people to like, like and sub and stuff. I guess because I abhor the game, you know, the corporate game. But I need to learn to play it. I'd be more successful in reaching people, I guess. So, cheers, everybody. Happy solstice. The Flying Amanita is your favorite of these? This one? Look at it up close. So it's a moth, but if you look closely, it's the guys that are smoking Amanita. Thank you, Dynamo. Happy Solstice. And they're down here in the bottom too. <laughs> or were these your Flying Amanitas that you like? Floating. Those are floating, my like. Okie dokie. I'm gonna... Heat up my asparagus. I'm just waiting for people to get their stuff together, you know, to, you know what, I'm just going to nuke that later when I'm ready to eat. So let's talk about the birdhouse. It was a haunted house. It's like some Halloween kids kit. And I found it at a thrift store when I was in Hawaii. Oh, thanks, kindness. Eric, I love finding solutions instead of looking for problems. Aw. Oh, hey, Ocean, thank you. Happy solstice to you. And it was like this kit in a thrift store in Hawaii, and it, it was a haunted house for kids to make or whatever, and I was like, I know what I'm doing with that. I'm going to paint it for solstice. So, y'all ready to see the birdhouse that I painted? Here's the back. Here's the roof. <laughs> like I don't know how to paint this this looks like a first grader did it because I don't know how to I don't know how to draw or paint so that's that's as good as it gets but like you can put bird seed and stuff in it and I put it outside and forgot to bring it in the house and I had put bird seed in here for the tiny birds because they get run off from my bird feeder a lot and I set it out there <laughs> And I forgot about it. And the next day that I had found the raccoons had gotten into it and it was on the ground. I thought it had gotten broken, but they didn't break it. But it's not bad for being quirky and cute. <laughs> and then there's this thing which I need to glue on it. Oh, wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> Strong effects from smoking Amanita. Um, it depends. Three is for my third anniversary. Can you smoke it? Yes, you should. I smoke it all the time. That's what we do in ceremony is smoke it. We smoke the shit out of it. Strong effects, it depends on what you mean by strong, the word strong. I know, I think these colors are very relaxing. Thank you for the, yeah, right, Natalia? Um, <laughs> Gandalf, you're hilarious. Uh, it depends on what you mean by the word strong because everybody has different ideas of strong. If you mean colors, it'll, it sort of, yes, it makes that stronger, more, more acute, but also, do you mean strong, like, in feeling off-center, off-balance, trippy, like, floaty, very much yes, but also it can be very subtle. If you want to see me do that live for the first time on camera, go to AnimeDreamer.net under I Use, and you'll see me try it for the first time. But since then, like, I, I, we figured it up last night on the Zoom, the weight in grams of how much I usually smoke in a ceremony, and it's upwards of 40 grams that I consume in a ceremony by smoking, not by tea. Every day. Phone calls that say spam risk. <laughs> All right. Um, are we ready to get started on solstice discussions? Let me grab a stool so I can sit and talk to you guys. Smoking it now, just one small piece. Yeah, you got to smoke a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. It's not one of those things like weed where you hit a couple of times and hold it in and then... It's not like that. It's a really subtle, slow thing. So you have to just do it over and over and over and over and over. I would show you right now. I just, this is YouTube and I'll, 
I'll get a strike and get locked out of my channel. But um, when we do Zooms, like I'll, I'll sit and smoke it. And then my smoke blends that I make and sell in the store, like I'll do that around five o'clock in the evening. Most days I'll take a couple of hits of that and just chill out. Let me grab a stool. Do you want out, baby? Come on. Okay. Out you go. My God, it is hot. I was going to do this outside and cook on the grill, but y'all, the heat is ridiculous. Let's live. I just remembered the silo experience video. Let's do a live YouTube. Oh, the chats keep disappearing. Let's do a live YouTube. We traveled lifetimes for this. Do you remember that? Yeah, when I said we traveled, it was so important that we traveled lifetimes to get here, and yet it's so unimportant. <laughs> that was hilarious. Did y'all see my overalls I got at the Mushroom Festival? Let's see. Well, we're here now. Let's create something strong. Indeed, contaminated mycelium has held me back. Oh, no. Yeah, well... Fortunately, I cannot stay for the whole event and have to study for exams. Aw, that sucks. I would say ignore it, but damn, exams are kind of important. My father, Marie, is having his first AMT tomorrow. Oh, hell yeah. He loves your channel and website. Also purchased your... Oh, cool. Tell him I wish him the best. Awesome. Uh, okay, let's talk about solstice. Y'all say something cool about my overalls. Well, he smoked it, not had the opportunity to make the tea yet. Love the effect. Yeah, right, Philip? Overalls for life. Thanks. Okay, let's talk about solstice and the point of solstice. So, it's really weird, and a lot of us don't think about it, and it's odd to me that we don't celebrate it um, as a as a people much anymore. Like, there are there are pockets of people that do, that haven't forgotten about it, but, but mostly we don't anymore. And so, <laughs> thank you, Philip. So let me talk to you about it. It's weird if you, the closer to the equator that you live, the less that you will understand the importance of solstice. So when I was in Maine, it freaked me out that the sun came up at 4.30 in the morning last month. Then it really made sense to me because I'm down in the south where I'm closer to the equator. And so the sun's uh, go, sunset and sunrise are, are pretty even, give or take a couple of hours depending on the season. But the further away from the equator you go, the more extreme those times are in between sunset and sunrise. So they'll be short or very, very, very long. And so what happens on the solstices is in the winter solstice, the sun is gone the longest amount of time. So we have the longest night on winter solstice. And then in summer solstice, the sun is up for the longest amount of time. We have the longest day. And today, in modern times, because we have artificial lighting and electricity and everything, that doesn't matter. Because we have electric combines and electric farming equipment, that doesn't matter. We're not as dependent on the land. But back when we were very dependent on the land, those that daylight determined the amount of work we could do and the amount of time that predators were out. So if you live closer to the land and your livelihood and ability to eat and your safety depends on the sun and darkness and those cycles, then you know the importance of having the sun and having the sun up. I'm going to not read your comments right now, and then I'll catch up to them when I'm done discussing this. So forgive me. And so when the sun is, when you have these really amazingly long days, you have more time for parties and celebrations to get more work done to harvest, and then when you're done, to rest, to, to sew, to create, to paint, to make music, to hang out, to relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor. The days are longer, they're more fun, there's more safety, there's less predators. It's a very productive time and it feels good and you're getting more vitamin D and more of that pineal gland stuff and you just feel healthier and more well and open. And then contrast that to as the winter solstice, like today, over the next week, the days will continue to get longer. But then a week from now, that's going to shift and the sun is going to start going down earlier over the rest of the summer and into fall, right? And so as we get closer and closer to winter and then the days get shorter and shorter and shorter, 
then you would understand how that feels by the time you get to actual winter solstice we're talking about very short amounts of daylight and the further away north and then the further away south on the in the southern hemisphere that you go then even shorter sunlight until you get no sunlight right and so that those extended periods of darkness mean you can see less well you've got to burn more of the midnight oil or candles to be able to see although now that's not a big deal but historically there's less movement out there because of predators and then you also have like evolutionarily the fact that our biological bodies are used to hibernation and we do go sort of dormant have less motivation less energy we're less creative we're more sedate more calm a lot of you are still in touch with that and it's been labeled seasonal affective disorder because you're having to push past that to continue to work like it's the summertime like you've still got all this pineal gland influence like you've still got all this sunlight and all this vitamin d and all this melatonin which we now know melatonin is extremely important for your immune system and energy and motivation and focus yes it's the hormone that helps you sleep but it's also the hormone that helps you heal and so when you have less of that going on in the winter everything sort of degrades right and, and when you compare that also to watching the winter landscape and the death and the falling away and the culling and the pulling back, it is a time of withdrawal, right? And so when we get to summer solstice, then you've already gone through the equinox, which is important. The equinox says, okay, winter is officially shaken off. We have officially been given permission for the harvest we're watching things come back and the growth of the spring and the newness right and you've marked that and you've done the cleansing that you're supposed to do so that by the time you get here to the longest day you are in full swing of the openness and the beauty and the joy and the working and the creation and the most vitamin d and the most melatonin and the best that your immune system can be and you're working and you're pushing and the motivation and now I'm not saying that everyone feels this way in modern society, in corporate society. I'm talking about historically. And the more that we do this work and the more that we use entheogens and the more that we start eating closer to the land and using entheogenic substances that are living and start to work with them, your body will remember this. Then that is when solstices will start to mean more to you. So I know I seem like a weirdo talking about solstice, and I know that it seems out of step and odd with modern culture celebrating capitalist holidays, but I can tell you that the more that you live closer to the land and eat closer to the land, and the more that you live in, in unison and in cycles with the earth, and the more entheogens you take, the more you will actually feel solstice and understand what solstices are about. And the sun keeps going up and down the clouds and stuff. You can see in the window how dark it looks out there right now. So what the summer solstice is about is about expansion and celebration and movement. And we'll do this again every winter. I do another live and we talk about the constriction and what we need to do for that. And so what the work is during summer solstice celebrations and why you drum is firstly it's to clean out the things that have been weighing on you since winter solstice and we have forgotten the importance of movement in healing our bodies and how feelings get stuck in our bodies and so if you have been thrown out of a relationship thrown out of a job betrayed stabbed in the back had to leave situations, had to make hard decisions, had to sell things, had to give up things, had to walk away from things. If you are bitter, resentful, angry, sad, and grieving, the reason that we are in a mess as a society is that we have labeled certain emotions wrong and bad. And it's even worse in the spiritual community because it's this forced positivity attitude. And that's just as sick as people who are avoidant and using substances to avoid feeling. And all of those things will get you stuck and sick and broken. And then it's gonna come out sideways. 
And so the reason that you see a lot of death in tribal and cultural and indigenous imagery is because you're supposed to look at these things. In our society, we don't see death. It's all hidden away. We're not allowed to look at it. We don't see birth. It's hidden away. We don't look at it. And then we're told, you know, you got to stay mentally healthy, which means always content or happy or positive. And that's sick and fucked up. And so the reason we go to the underworld is to face head on all these negative emotions. And then the spiritual community will tell you if you're actually enlightened and woke, then that means you've done these trips and these entheogens and you know that it's all sick. If you're resentful or angry, you're being ego-based and that's sick. That's sick because you're still here in a meat sack and a human living through the ego to feel and emote and be part of this experience. If you're only here to just take care of you and drink and jump out of airplanes and play drums and go have amazing experiences and then you're going to check out and leave, you're going to be an asshole because you're here with other human beings and you affect other human beings in your life. And if you're alone and you don't have any family and you don't have any friends and you're isolated, then you can live like that. But if you have any people in your life that you associate with or you're lonely and you want to have people around you, then it's necessary to be involved with them and it can get dirty sometimes. Humans can, can do things and they don't mean to be assholes. They're taking care of themselves. They're setting their boundaries. They're sick. They're going through their learning and their issues and they may lash out at you or hurt you or think that they're doing the right thing and there's misunderstandings and miscommunications and people have to leave things to take care of themselves and you may get caught in the crossfire. You hurt people. You've been the asshole before trying to take care of yourself. So shit happens, right? And so what we're supposed to do is deal with that. Get into the resentment and the fuck you and the anger. And if you do that through drumming and you face that head on and you get disgusting and you get angry and you snarl and you paint your face and you beat those dark drums, that's the underworld. That's the shadow self. If you're always looking at it, facing it, honoring it, saying I'm resentful, I'm, I'm angry, fuck you, doing all this stuff in your mind and, and feeling it as you're drumming. And what you're doing is you're allowing it to move. You're giving it a voice and letting it go out of you. And what you'll find is if you sit in that and you face it and you don't run from it, you're not blaming anybody. You're not giving it a narrative because you're being very primal and just feeling raw emotion, that darkness, it's amazing how quickly that shit will flow out and leave. And then you will start to feel this sense of compassion, forgiveness, understanding, and you know what? It's okay. It's really okay. They were probably just doing the best that they could. And in that way, we stay clean and we take care of ourselves and our bodies and we put to death the resentment and the anger and those things that can erode away at our immune systems and our bodies and our skin and our muscles and our thoughts and can keep us sick. And that is what we do when we drum on each of the solstices and each of the equinoxes. And it's so important. And until you do that, you don't understand the importance of it. And what we do when I hold ceremony is we get into that shit, except we do it moving around with everybody, 20, 30 people drumming and we are vocalizing and, and, it, and it looks weird to the outsider, but what's happening to the body, to us doing this together in unison is this massive amount of healing as a community. And that's only one small part of the ceremony. So I don't know how well this is gonna translate with the sound on my iPad and whatever gating YouTube does, but let me get my drum and what I, I'm gonna give you an assignment. Let me get my drum. So what I want you to do is I'm going to lay down a beat because this is the bass drum. It's just like a slow beat. And what I want you to do 
is whatever you're beating on, even if it's just your desktop or a tabletop, anything that you can use. You want to see? Those are the ancestors. What I want you to do while we drum, and it's only going to be for a few minutes, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the places over the last six months since, since Christmas of people that have hurt you, resentments and angry things that you feel, right? And I, I don't want you to put a narrative in your head. I don't want you to think of what it is you should be doing. I don't want you to think about telling a story about what they did. I don't want you to think about trying to forgive them and forgive the interaction. I don't want you to feel guilty and ashamed for feeling anything. This is the time to turn that off. I want you to focus on the beat. Remember the thing that hurt you. Focus on the beat. That's it, okay? Now, I may be laying down a beat, but that doesn't mean that's what you've got to do. You can do anything you want. Move around that beat. Double time my beat. Triple time it. Play little riffs inside there. Or just do what I'm doing. But the most important thing is that you follow this. All right? Also, if you ever need inspiration, you can go on Spotify and just find some drums. Let's see what I got here. Why is it not playing? Weird. It's not playing for some reason. Let's see if that one will play. No, I don't know why it's not playing, but you can get on Spotify. I have under go to Amanita Dreamer. I have a playlist called cultural drumming and it's every culture of drumming that I could find on there to put there and listen to different ones. Different ones will resonate with you. So you can smoke whatever it is. Let it get good in you and go through that playlist and play drums. You don't have to wait on me to do this, okay?
for hours, and we do when we're in ceremony. Uh, this is just like a, I don't know, a snapshot sort of of what we do. It's not like clearly because of the gating by YouTube and everything. We can't really get into it. And I don't know how much of that was breaking up or anything. Like, I don't know how bad it is. But like, I'm already starting to get transy do that for hours and it gets crazy and cool. But this is what I'm wanting you to do. And hopefully you were starting to get in a place where your heart was opening up and you were starting to feel touches of anger and touches of resentment. And like, if you really go into that and you stick with that for a while, like that shit will really move up and out. You know what I mean? Let me try to catch up on these comments and see if it will let me. Wow, there's a lot to catch up with. Okay. Smoking now, one small piece. Okay, yay, let's, uh, I just remembered, oh, that video. I'm anxious to learn. I don't know much about solstice. Well, I hope I'm helping you. Um, okay. Let's see, overalls for life. Uh, forgot about your live stream. Oh, cool, love. Glad you found us. Overalls are groovy. Your dream has changed my life. Oh, thank you, Deep. 4 a.m. today, Switzerland, it was already a light. Yeah, that's weird. You're you're far north, too. Tuesday is the longest day. Yeah, it is. Tuesday is solstice. When you recently joined Piers, grab a pen. Thank you for the kindness, for that kindness. Okay. Clean eating is best. Philia, solstice is very much matter. It's not weirdo stuff. It's fact. Indeed, not at all. Loving this. Look at all the sparkly bling. <laughs> hey, Scooter. All that has happened to me, right, D? It happens. I'm using massage wands and vibrations. Oh, good for you. Good, good, good. Don't forget to breathe, definitely. Oh, we do a lot of breathing in ceremony. Definitely need to hear and do this. Yeah, Philip. No France state. You're the second person to ask me about France. I go where I'm hired to go, like where people set it up and organize it and everything, and then I'm, I'm, they pay me, like I, I go there. So, uh, organize one. Uh, I said that there's no dates left available this year, but there have been some cancellations. So, uh, have fused fully decarded into honey, shelf life, no high, stomach pain, nauseous at all, life without an overstimulated nervous system. Oh, that's amazing, Deep. It's nice to not have an overstimulated nervous system, right? Yeah, Judith, keep your shadows in front of you. They can only bring you down from behind. That's great. I love you. We do the fills. That's right, Deep. I feel it already. Yay, Donnie Mo. I'm sorry it was so short. It's just that when you do something like that, people that check into your live, they don't know what's going on and they leave and I don't want to alienate people. That is one cool drum. I had it made especially for me by a guy in Moldova. Would you mind checking if your drumming playlist is public? It is. It's public. Um, I got scared a little. Right, Christina? It'll do that. That's the whole idea. It's supposed to scare you. Um, that's why they paint their faces and use the skulls and the bones and all that imagery of death. It's fearful doing this work. Thanks for the heart's kindness. Thanks, Selena. Thanks, MPV. Thanks, Silica. Okay. Thanks, Dynamo. Thanks, Jason. I love you, too. Um, I was drumming with my hands against the table. Man, that works. I do that all the time. I do it on my steering wheel. Get to the roots and heal. I'm sorry this is so shaky. You're driving a forklift. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Hey, Germany. It was perfect. Excellent. You can use your hi-hat too from your drum set. Um, I didn't even think about doing that. If I could travel with it, I would. That'd make a lot of sense. I had a tea can. Oh, cool. Glad I woke up in time. I'm glad you did too. It was perfect. It went back into previous solstice experiences. My life was like, wife was like, whoa, she's amazing at drumming. Aww. Tell her I said hi and thank you. I think it's cool when you do yourself up to look like an Amanita. I like doing it. I'm under cancer treatment and I worry it can interfere with the treatment. But also I know if I go to the doctor, it's not going to give any useful info on how and when I can use it, but I support this. Well, the drumming you can do, I don't know about, you know, I don't want to talk about anything else as far as chemicals go. Come to Switzerland for now. Ceremony in Switzerland for September. Yeah, I mean, the, I think that he's still got some spaces left for Switzerland. Unfortunately, if I were to drum in my apartment, <laughs> your housemate, um, go to a park. People love it. People will gather around, and that's how you can start a drum circle. 
Oh, you just said it. That's hilarious. Okay, Daniel. Be careful when you call on the mushroom spirit. It is also related to the berserk cult. Actually, John, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. And Bear can kill with his power. Also, he has most potent healing abilities. Um, get into the woods for yourself. Yay. Gratitude for you and all you do. I drummed my phone. Hey, cool. Coffee can Thank you, Daniel, for the coffee. Immediately brought up the thing I'm working on right now. Cool, Jesse. So here's the thing about the berserker cult. Um, I know who you're talking about. A lot of people think that berserkers were just Vikings that, you know, drank and they went nuts and just like raided and killed people. Let me check my food before I kill it. It's almost time to eat. All right, we're gonna pull your rims for you guys while I wait for this to cool down. Y'all, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's ready. Woo! Yummy yums. Y'all want to see it? Let me show you the foods. It's, um, I got it from the, a farmer up the road. He has, like, a little roadside stand, and it's huge squash and zucchinis that he grew. Let me show you. <laughs> this was what was left of the zucchini because I couldn't cut it all and fit it all in the pan. So, um, the berserker thing. So, uh, what they were is they usually traveled in groups of 12. And is it true then? Well, let me tell you about that, the, the Viking thing. So, what berserker was, um, I don't know about marshmallow snow, but I'll go look it up. What they were is they were guys that traveled in groups of 12 and they were mercenaries for hire, right? And they swore an oath to each other to be these kind of loner warriors. They, they didn't have families. They didn't hang out. They wanted to travel. And so the way that they earned a living is if, let's say you were a landowner somewhere and there was a dispute between you and someone else over something they stole or some issue with your land or something. Then if you wanted to settle your dispute in a duel or a fight, but you didn't want to fight, you would hire a berserker to fight in your stead, right? They were hired mercenaries. This is what, this is how they earned a living. It was an honest living because this was a, the way that things were done back then. And so they wore, they think that bear for bears or care, berserker, bear, instead of being bare chested, it was bear skins. They wore bear skins. And what they would do is they would put plates of wood or shields under them and put the bear skins over it so that they seemed impenetrable. They seemed larger than life and unhurtable. And so they sort of got this larger than life reputation. But also it was their arrogance and their confidence and the way that they would fight and they would fight other berserkers that the other landowner would hire as their mercenary. And so these two people would fight in their stead. These two berserkers would fight in their stead and then the winner would be the winner for that landowner. And they would do this for kings or higher up people. They roamed and this is what they did. This is how they earned their living. And they would be hired just, you know, for the fun of it. Hey, we want to see you two fight or whatever. And they, because they swore an oath to each other, it was a brotherhood. You know what I mean? And I'm sure some of them could get a little culty about it and arrogant or whatever. And so that's, that's all that that was. It had nothing to do with Amanita. And if people think they drank something to get in a state of mind that they could, that's not what Berserker is really. No, it is really. Like, this is based on the research and it goes back to the sagas and the way that the, the language is used and what Bayer means. This, I am, I am a science and research based channel. 
And I have done an extensive amount of research into this. I've talked to others who've done their research into it and historians that this is what they do and this is what they know about it. And there is no other story. So it's not people who totally lose it when they fight. That's what I'm trying to educate you about and tell you that's not what this is. That definition is a modern creation of what berserkers were. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to educate you on the research. So you can disagree, that's fine, but don't correct me. I'm telling you this is what the research says. So if you don't like the research, that's fine. If you have a different opinion, I'm totally cool with that. I don't care that you believe what I believe or whatever. It's not a belief. This is what the research says. So based on that, there is zero information saying that they took any substances at all. That doesn't mean they didn't. They were people. Like people use substances, whatever. And if it helped them fight better, it did. But that's not um, the actual like meaning of berserker. It doesn't matter if you're Nordic. I'm American, but that doesn't mean I know American history, you know, just because I live here. I'm telling you what the research says from people in your country, from Nordic historians and researchers. Anyway, so um, this is the research. It is available to anybody, no matter where you live. And if you have different research, then I'm interested to know that. And then I will update it because I haven't made my video about berserkers yet. So if you have different research, give me that research. Like I am research based. So if you've got different research or if you know someone who does research and I can interview them and talk to them and ask them questions, I want to know that. So no offense to you. I, I, I just don't know who you are. So no, it's not. I understand what you're saying about research and it can be agenda driven depending on who's paying for it. I'm talking about independent researchers. So, yeah, same as Twisting History. Um, and history is written by the victors. I understand what you're saying, Fly Finn. Um, but there is, there is research that doesn't have an agenda, especially in history. Science, not so much. Science has to be bought because science is so expensive. But historical research, there are a lot of independent researchers that aren't in it for the money and they're not purchased. So show me what you've got. Show me your information and your research. Okay, anyway, we got off on a, on a tangent there. So, what we're going to do now is, uh, you're a berserker. Um, do you travel? Are you a hired mercenary? Cool. Similar, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, Gandalf. Cool, fly fin. What country do you live in? Well, you're not homeless if you're, un are you unsheltered? Are you just, you're like a gypsy? You're finished? Cool. I bet you have an interesting life. You're somewhat unsheltered, somewhat a gypsy. My ancestors were, uh, well, on my father's side were gypsies um, from the Nordic descent that came down to the Eastern Bloc countries in Europe. No, Gandalf, I don't think he's a troll. I mean, he says that he's... I don't distrust people, I guess, as much. All right, let's do this. So if you have something to write on and write with, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. So I want to ask everyone to stop commenting for a moment. I'll go back and catch up on all the comments that I missed in a minute. Thank you for stopping commenting. So if you want me to pull your rune and you're ready to draw your rune and then go look it up later... Oh, I know, Gandalf. I am the queen of having trolls and haters, my man. I, I get it. So, if you want me to pull a rune for you, then only once, please comment the word me. I'll give you a minute to do that, and then I will scroll back, and I'll start naming you and pulling your rune for you. You draw it, and then I'm going to move on to the next person, okay? Nobody? Oh, there's a delay. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to ask you to stop commenting now in just a second. Ten. That's fine if it's everyone. Nine. Eight. Seven. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everybody stop commenting so I can scroll back and start at the top. Uh, Finn, Finn, I do want to talk to you. If you want to uh, find me on Instagram and message me, I'll ask you some questions. Okay, MPV, this is your rune. Comments keep disappearing. Um, kindness matters, this is your rune. Julie, this is your room. Silica, this is your room. Can y'all hear me? I just need one thumbs up. We're on Elena and then Oil and then Jesse. Elena, this is your rune. Oil, this is your rune. Jesse, this is your rune. That's my rune. <laughs> All right, we left off with Jesse. Okay, thanks for the thumbs up on the audio. Next is who is then Philip? Who is this? Is your room? Philip, this is your room. Sorry, the chat keeps disappearing and I have to pull it back up and then scroll back. Where are we? We did Jesse, we did Who Is, Philip, all right. E3, Real, and then Candace. E3, this is your rune. Candace, this is your rune. That disappeared, got to pull it back up again. Um, D, then Gandalf, then the beige. D, this is your rune. Gandalf, this is your rune. Beige, this is your rune. Jason, Ellen P, and then Khan. Jason, this is your rune. Ellen P, this is your rune. Khan, this is your rune. I gotta let my cat in. She's raising hell. Come on, babe. So hot out there. All right, let's go back. On. All right, Natalia, Judith, then Jay. Natalia, this is your rune. Judith, this is your rune. Jay, and then Gigad, and then Rob. Rob, this is your rune. Ah. Who did I skip? Uh, Jay? Did I do Judith? 
Now I'm lost. Crap. I did Judith. I didn't do J and I didn't do Gad, right? J, this is your rune. G God. This is your rune. This one's coming up a lot today. I think we are almost done. Okay, we did Judith, J, G God, Rob, Bradley, <laughs> Marshall Fart. I say Bradley, Marshall, and Daniel. Bradley, this is your rune. Marshall, this is your rune. Daniel, this is your rune. All right, anybody that I missed? Santiago, oh, y'all are just thumbs upping. Santiago, I didn't do yours. I don't remember doing yours. Fly Finn, Candace, you fixed your sound. Okay, Stream Sleep, this is your room. Wow, that one just really keeps coming up. Craziness. All right, I think we got everybody. Yes, I have a cat, Christina. I have five cats. Frey is here somewhere. She's my familiar and works with me. Hey, Redwood, do you want a rune, Redwood? Hail, Hagalaz, that's a rough one, dude. Yikes. Um, mine looks like a bee. Oh, yeah, you got Birkina. That means birch, that means new beginnings, okay. Valerie, yes, let's get you a rune. Valerie, your rune is... Yira, year, cycles. Go look it up though. I don't have time to do like full. Um, let's see. Who would I miss? You're welcome, Rob. Hey, Valerie. Kate. So we need Kate, Missy, and Steven. Kate, this is your rune. Missy, this is your rune. That's good. That's a good rune. Steven, this is your rune. Redwood, you and Pat. All right, let's do one for you, Redwood. Ah, this one again. Redwood, this is your rune. And Pat, oh my gosh, Pat. I hope you don't have issues with control. The blank one is weird. W-Y-R-D. That means chance and fate. That means letting go of control and letting the fates determine. That one's a rough one. Usually people that get that one have issues with control. Um, You'll have to look it up, what yours means, because I can't go into details right now for everybody because there's too many people. Um, you're welcome, Jason. Um, oh, thank you, GGAD. I'll say hi to them for you. Yeah, Hale, you got to go look it up. It, it's a rough, it's a rough rune to get. Dynamo, this is your rune. You're welcome, Redwood. E 
Luis Torres, I love the drawing on the drum. I drew something similar after I started walking on the forest, but with a magpie. Oh my God, how cool. Missy, this is your rune. These are the Elder Futhark. The rune you pulled for me was scarily accurate. Yeah, they do that. You're welcome, Beige. Um, hey, Kathy. Welcome. These are, Philip, these are the Elder Futhark. Yeah, do Elder Futhark. Are they bone? They're all different um, rocks and minerals. They're all different. This one is bone. Agate. Okay, Angela. That's a very powerful rune, Angela. Bradley, uh, that's a very positive rune. Very fortunate for you. All right, y'all. Hagalaz disruption, yeah. Here the runes are being pulled. Hey, Bradford, you want a rune? Is it time for another rune? Let's pull for Bradford. Oops, sideways. All right, Selena. Your rune. <laughs> it is a beautiful set. I've been collecting it for about a year. I'm ordering different runes and different sets. When we do, uh, when I hold ceremony, everybody pulls a rune. You're welcome, Bradford. You're welcome, Selena. Everyone pulls a rune and keeps it. So it's an ever-evolving set, putting new energy in it. Ah, uh, Cola, you can still pull, pull. Let me pull you one. Cola, this is your rune. I hope you get better soon. Yes, we are on the Saturday chat. Good for you, yay. All right, now I'm gonna taste the food I made and then I'm gonna taste the ice cream I made. Mm. I unveiled this earlier for those of you that missed it. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you, Cola. Thanks, Valerie. Yeah, you can put um, bird seed in it. It's a birdhouse, but I put bird seed in it for the littler birds. Because the really small birds, they get run off by the larger birds. You're welcome, Candace. Thank you all for being here. No, <laughs> Eve, I'm sorry, you're stuck with it. At least till winter solstice. <laughs> That's your meditation. I'm sorry, sometimes they do suck, that sucks. All right, I'm gonna pour some more, get some ice, and then we're gonna eat. Do y'all have anything to eat? Then we're gonna eat ice cream. I wanna taste this. Gracie Mae, hey babies. And keep food like this because I've tried freezing it and it comes out smushy mushy and then I tried dehydrating it and cooking it and it comes out smushy mushy or really like um, virus so I don't know how to be able to keep this for later um, there seems to be some synergy with beets and amanita but I don't know what they are I feel that though Runes change over time. What's the time horizon this means to apply? These runes go, well, it depends on what you're pulling for. It can go from solstice to solstice, but usually when I pull a rune, it's to go from solstice to equinox, like from now till the fall equinox, what we have to focus on. But you'll be pulling another rune when I come do ceremony. Uh, Oh my God. Um, I used like a Parmesan Italian dressing to soak these in overnight. And at the top of this video, when we first started, I put them in the oven. Mm. 
Oh my god. So good. So when we used to do solstice celebrations, we would play drums, and while the drums were playing, people are eating, smoking, drinking, playing drums, trancing out, you know, using their entheogen of choice or whatever. Um it kind of like went on all day, all night, all day, all night for two or three days, you know. So this is just like a, a shortened kind of facsimile sort of version of that, for lack of a better word, you know what I mean? I can't believe we still got 61 people here. Missing pieces. Uh-uh. What is missing pieces? I'll uh, bookmark it. Is it on YouTube? Can I find it on YouTube? Vance Joy, Missing Piece. Missing Pieces, Jack White. I love Jack White. Big Jack White fan. Which one? Who's it by? Catch up on all these. That room actually makes sense. Good, you know. Just ate a big salad. I have salad also. I'm just not getting it out right now. Thanks, Rob, for the compliment. Thanks, Valerie, for the compliment on the birdhouse. I did my best to paint it. I'm just not a good painter person or drawer person, you know. I'm real unsteady. Part of my autism, you know, is like I'm, my movements are wonky. They're not steady. They're weird. Mm, my God, so good. What are y'all eating? Mark Leland. It's not coming up. I got Vance Joy. Jack White. These must be covers. Lost Panda. I'll have to find it. Mark Leland. There it is. Oh, cool. Okay. I'll leave it pulled up. Oh, 15 years ago. It's older. Gotcha. Yeah, those must be covers. You can practice your body. Taiki is excellent for it. What are you eating? It looks yummy. I'm eating, um, there's a lot of farms around here and farmer's markets and stuff. So I stopped and got these really huge zucchinis and squashes and I soaked them overnight in Italian dressing. They would taste better on the grill, but it's in the 90s and it's just too motherfucking hot for that bullshit. So they got cooked in the stove. 64, where are you? Dynamo, where is it 64? <laughs> I also have asparagus eye. I'm going to heat them up. Macy, excuse me, baby. Oh, this is so good y'all if you ever get lemon lime and cherries fresh ones I made it on my zoom last night oh fly Finn, I was just wondering if you messaged me thank you okay have fun thanks for talking I look forward to chatting with you chicken parm anyway I soaked it overnight lemon juice lime juice and cherry juice It's so damn good, my God. It's so good. I wish all of you were here. I wish we were all here together doing this, right? Eating together and smoking and drinking and 
play a drone shoot on. Everybody bring in a different dish. Let me tell you about my dreams and what I'm trying to build. Can I just share with you for a moment what my dreams are and what I'm trying to do? Doesn't it, Bradley? So, fortunately for me, but I mean, also, I was watching real estate prices for like five years. Oh, the count of viewers, gotcha. And I bought this house in a very specific area for a very specific reason because I knew property values were going to go up based on how they had been moving. And so, this house has more than doubled in value since I bought it. Plus, I've been renovating it as I go, paying cash. You ever add mint to lime or lemonade? Yeah, I'm in the South. Mint grows like grass. Like, it's everywhere here. So, when I sell this house, I have like $200,000 to use to relocate. That's not much money considering where I want to go, which is somewhere west of here, out of the deep south, because the laws here are so restrictive and it's a police state and I want to get out of here. So, um, what I want to do is I'm hoping that this documentary, when it comes out, will boost the work that I'm doing, boost my income, boost the following, boost everything across the board, because I give y'all everything I can for free. And the idea is that the things that I sell to support myself that cost money are they extras that you don't have to buy? You know what I mean? Like being part of our community with all of our Zooms and all that stuff. That's just kind of like extra. So hopefully the people that can afford those things will put money towards those things and then help me in turn increase the income so that I can buy land, a big piece of land. And I want to build my house on the back of it and on the front of it a huge outdoor pavilion and a huge indoor place where we can hold ceremonies four times a year for every equinox and solstice with a huge bonfire arena area and then each of those four times a year invite people to come camp out on the property and then we start on a Friday the drums start on a Friday at noon and they go until Monday and you come and you barter, you trade, you share, anything you build, anything you sow, anything you craft, anything you make, anything you grow. Everyone just sets it out in front of their tents and people can barter and trade and change with each other. And as long as it's not an illegal substance, unless I'm somewhere where it's decriminalized, whatever, you use your thing you, around the fires, alliances are forged that we do this the way that they used to do this, where you have to trek, you have to save up, you have to come to it. It would be like a festival, except a real one, because we're doing it the old way, where there's a fire involved, and these entheogens, people having life-changing experiences, not just about vendors and commercialization, but the real thing. This is my dream. This is what I really, really want to do. But it takes money. That isn't in my life at the moment, but I'm trying to bring it to make this happen. Okay, let me catch up. I think it's a beautiful dream. All right, let me catch up. Hey, Valerie. Yeah, Valerie, I'm doing, well, if you've already used it, you can't use it again, but on my private um, patron site, my community, um, it's uncensored. I had to get off Patreon. You can, I have a, you can come on for a week, like a free week or whatever. So you use the coupon free week. So you go to mushroomvoice.com and at the top, there's a little banner there to go to the community and you just sign up and use free week and you'll get a free week. But I'm not going to be doing any more Zooms until the first Saturday of July. So if you want to wait and sign up then. Um, and then you can come hang out with us. But go over there and look at the calendar. There may be other Zooms that you might want to do. Cola. Oh, man, I would get you all stuff. <laughs> Cola. 
Cool, Valerie. Uh, Deep South Police State. We neighbors. I live in Louisiana. No, I'm in Georgia. It's bad here. We have white supremacy museums here and shit. It's bad here. Georgia's bad. Yes, Cola, this girl's got plans. Doesn't it sound wonderful, kindness? Suarez, you just put me. Does that mean that you want me to pull your rune? Y Suarez, here's your rune. You ready? This one's coming up a lot. All right. It's hard to talk and eat at the same time. Um, like a community, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Only nobody would be living on my land 24-7. It would be four times a year. Great gall dream. So many of us share this. I feel it too. It's, it's a growing thing, right? That's my dream too. A big piece of land with all you described with some buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Valerie. I hope you do too. We need all of us doing this. My target year is next fucking year, man. Next fucking year, 2023. It is a beautiful dream. Don't come to California. See, the thing about California is... Um, this, the current state of affairs will change. It's not permanent. It, it will change. But also, the only reason I would avoid California currently are the rules and regulations. But also, as beautiful as it is, I need a little bit more winter. I like the cold. So right now, I'm looking at Oregon. I'll be going to Oregon next month. And then again, I'm doing a panel at the uh, Radical Mycology Convergence in October. Kevin Feeney and me and William Rubel, we're doing a panel there at the conference on Amanita Muscaria. So I'll be going to Oregon twice to sort of look around and see what I think of it. Uh, with dome buildings, domes maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know, I'm kind of more into the arched, maybe, I don't know. Yes, I think I have minutes difference between chat and video. That's annoying. Sniff. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, hi from Israel. Hey, Karen. Oh, hey. I've seen you before in my little circle. Mishka, Croatia. You're not far from, the, from Moldova. The guy that made my drum is in Moldova. Um... How has the mushroom legalized state in Canada affected your connection flow? Well, this mushroom being legal, the Amita being legal, has always been legal. Psilocybin being illegal is a problem. Being in Canada totally changed my flow from being stuck down here in the south in the southern mentality in the police state I live in to showing me what it can really be like to be actually free. You know, like to live freely and do the things that you want to do. Politics aside, when you can use the entheogens, that's how you're truly free and the way that Canada doesn't come after you for that shit. But Canadians were so kind and the people in Washington State were so kind and the people in California were so kind. Down here, everybody's angry and because we live in a police state, so everyone's stressed out. I didn't realize people could be this kind, and it really broadened my heart and my horizons. You know what I mean? Like, Canada really was the game changer. Going to the medicine place, that um, ceremonial place, that blew, that blew my life wide open. I can't even begin to describe to you what that place was and what it did. Well, hey, Kathy, yes, and you can have a rune, and welcome to our little community. If you go to amanitadreamer.net, you can jump in and get involved at any level you want. Come play with us. Ready for your rune, Kathy? Wow, my gosh. That one just keeps coming up. Definitely some themes going on around here. Um... Oregon, it seems beautiful. I can't wait to go. My whole family's coming with us. I'm going to interview Kevin Feeney, you know, the Fly Garrett Compendium, the author, so that we can uh, get him in the documentary. Yeah, Candace, that's not an easy rune. Um, 
Arches and domes is my dream. Oh, hempcrete. Wow. Now that's brilliant. Uh, everybody reload their page and check that they are live. Cool. Let's see. I don't think we're free in Canada. They're passing through a lot of time. They are, but Candace, if you were down here, like I hear a lot of Canadians. Y'all are talking from a place of, of free privilege because it's like having being living in one of the freest places in the world and then the, when they start encroaching, you say you're not free. And when I tell you, just because America is the land of the free, you know how abusive people have to tell you how kind they are because they know they're not? The whole reason they've been brainwashing the world about America being a free place is because it isn't. It is so restrictive here. It's really scary. And then the South is, is some of the worst of the world for restriction. Like some of the rules and shit that are going on here, we're starting to be compared to the Taliban. Like it's scary. Yeah, England is worse than us, I think. I guess it is a matter of perspective because I guess if I was Canadian and I enjoyed that freedom and then they started passing the kinds of laws they have. Like I was there during some of that. Like you had to have your uh, vaccine passport and stuff like that to do stuff. They can't pass that shit here. And your gun laws are very restrictive. Um, in England, we're very repressed. I think in England also I heard that like you can't even get plastic knives and stuff for cutlery now. Kevin Feeney's the shit, isn't he, man? Steven, thank you. My God, that's twice now. What is laughing? What is that, a pear? Thank you, Stephen, for your support. Yeah, Candace, I know. All of my friends in Canada are just like you. Oregon, Washington, British Columbia are, are most friendly. Absolutely. Oregon is wild. They just opened the door completely on all of it, you know? Random animation, ain't laughing, spread love. I know, you always spread love, Stephen. Stephen's been supporting me for, what, two years now or more? Thanks for everything. I have to go. I'm Nordic. Oh, bye, Jigad. Taliban. What laws is Georgia passing? Um, they're passing law. Well, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Deep South. They're trying to pass laws so that, well, they've already done it in Georgia. No more abortion. Um, and it's a very restrictive abortion law. They're trying to um, make women have to report their periods every time they get medical care so that they can keep up and track women who have been having periods and then are not having periods anymore to find out what you have or haven't done with your body. They're trying to heavily tax women's period products. Um, if you are raped and you report and then it goes to court and they're found innocent, you go to prison. If you get an, leave the state to get an abortion, then you can still be tried when you get back. I mean, this is just the beginning. Like, it, it's bad. It's bad for women here. People of color, it's even worse. The way people of color here are treated. Um, people of color here have had all of their voting places taken away so that there's only one. And they try to make that one be as far away from the center of that population as possible. They've done away with um, drop-in ballots, mail-in ballots in predominantly black areas so that they can make it as hard for them to vote as possible. Um, this is the ground zero for the Civil War and so they refused to take down any of the monuments by some of the most racist leaders of the Civil War and the Civil Era, Civil Rights Era. Like it's Where are your chats? Here we go. Karen, oh my God, thank you. What is your currency? It's showing a little symbol. Are you leaving? Bye, Karen. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate that. Thank you. If I'm Lewis, I got done, but not sure I wrote it down just in case. I don't know, which one did you get, Lewis? Was it the uh, X? Are you asking for it again? Was yours this one? Where's the camera? <laughs> okay. Right? Candace, thank you for the support. Aw, thank you. You can get nice knives. <laughs> England has picnic cutlery. 
Oh my God. Where are you, Polo? Your, oh, our cannabis laws are, it's still highly illegal here. And even though they recently made paraphernalia legal, if you have paraphernalia, it's probable cause for search and seizure. Yeah, just having a pipe is probable cause for search and seizure. Where are you, Polo? Connect with nature spirits. Also, the mushroom is very helpful to ask for support. Definitely. America's gone crazy. First Pluto is going to be in flux and chaos for the next two years. Yeah. Oh, I agree, Valerie. We will prevail. So the thing, yeah, the Supreme Court trying to take away the legality of abortion, but also they just passed that removal of our uh, Fourth Amendment protections against search and seizure. So now 100 miles from the border, federal agents can now enter your house, your car, your property with no warrant and no reason. Fully legally now and do anything they want, seize any assets they want within 100 miles of the border. And I think it's like 68% of the Americans live within 100 miles of the border. The weird is getting weirder every day, every hour. Yeah, Candace, right? It's like the world. The world is getting, yes, every hour. It's, it's, it's got to get that way to shake it up. Change doesn't happen peacefully, unfortunately. Oh, cool. Jennifer, I don't have a garden. It's weird to me that marijuana would still be illegal anywhere. I know. When I tell you we're not free here, like if if I had some, I wouldn't put anything illegal in my house, but if I had one illegal mushroom in my house, I could go to prison for 10 years. I'm down south, literally 10 miles from Stone. Cola, you're down south in America? Down in the south south where I am? Or you're in the UK down south by Stonehenge. Like the Stonehenge? The real Stonehenge? What the fuck? I didn't know that. I know, y'all. We're dying down here. This is why I want to leave. Me and my wife and kids. Like... James, they cut off your comment. Me and my wife and kids like to say hello to everybody all the way from... Oh, South Carolina. Cool. You're down here in my parks. Although South Carolina isn't nearly as restrictive. Are you near, are you on the western side near the Chatuga? Marijuana is connected with Shiva. Aw, cool, the plant diva. Doesn't happen peacefully, unfortunately. Yeah. I usually, hey, Flight. No, I usually feel our earthquakes that we have here. I didn't feel one recently. Did we have one recently? I get busy talking to y'all and didn't eat. Now my food's cold. Yeah, South UK near South Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Stonehenge. Oh, uh, really? Um, we had one a couple of years ago that, like, shook the lights. I kind of am excited about this fault opening back up. I'm going to go look it up and find out where the epicenter was. When was it? A couple of days ago? I can't believe y'all are still here. Georgia had 3.9 last night? How did I not feel that? What the fuck? I'm in the foothills of the mountains. I'm probably pretty close to the epicenter. I was up till like midnight. D, listen, you gotta come to our community and do the free week and get on my Zoom and say hi. Hello, AD, I have stories. What's your preferred way to connect? Email or PM? Um, send a PM, well, no, not in my forum. Um, Aren't you AUS, AUS PC? Aren't you in 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 the community, my mushroom voice community? If so, send a message to Luna. She's my assistant. She forwards it to me. I know that I know you. This isn't the name that I know you by. AUS PPC. I know you by a different name, don't I? I just don't remember what that is. 
If you have my email, email me. I'd rather you email me if you have it. Valerie, I want to go to where the epicenter is and see what's going on, but I know it's up in the Appalachian Mountains somewhere. Um, James. Oh my God, these comments keep going away. Note to self, do not do a live on your iPad. All right, James. I was asleep when me and my wife felt it last night. I live in North Augusta, South Carolina. I'm not too far from Riverwalk. Oh, cool. I don't know why I didn't feel it. That's so weird. Which is on the borderline of Georgia. I have a video. Uh, I don't know if this is James or Rebecca, but I have a video where I do a walk with a river and I'm on the Chatuga down at Woodall Shoals. Um, prediction is that it's a prelude for close to surface quakes. Well, that's what's coming. I mean, that's sort of the progression of things, isn't it? I'm not worried about it. I won't live here when that happens. Definitely need to come kick it with you all. Yeah, you, you say that, but are you though? Damn, you guys are kind of awesome. Cola, I have been working on building an awesome community for three fucking years. And it's finally happening. And I'm so, so fortunate and so happy. I hope you stick around and hang out with us. Seems like America's worse than England. There's no way abortion's getting revoked. No way. The SA thing, police can't be bothered, but there's no punishment. Oh, no. The SA thing's getting bad here, too. Like, yeah, I think we are worse than England. But, like, a lot of developed countries are starting to consider America a third world country now. I don't know. We met in November. I'm from Australia. I just need to know your username that I know you by. I know that I know you by a different username. Um, someone bought me a chat. Karen, I would love to do an art collaboration with you. Yes, the money is in Israel shekels and mushrooms are legal in it. Of course they are. Um, okay, uh, message me on Instagram. Unless you already have and I didn't know. If you have, then tell me what your username is. And that's how I do all my communications and I, I can give you a private email address from there and we can talk. Amanita Dreams. She got dreams, Lindsay. Have y'all seen my anniversary video I made for you guys? My third year anniversary video? It's kind of cinematic. I've been pushing my skills, my editing skills, you know, trying to get better at editing and telling a story. They don't get much views. Everybody likes the Amanita videos, of course, but I'm so limited in what I can put out there, you know what I mean? Because fucking YouTube. For our safety, have y'all not noticed how weak the oppressor's game is? They just pick one line and that's all they say. It's for your safety. This new regulation that's going to restrict your life is, is for your safety. Oh, God. Hey, voluntary. My God, dude. You're a friend. Yeah. You're fine. You're not dense. You're traveling. Thanks for telling me, though. Okay. Yeah, of all people, you should be in our community. Why are you not in our community, man? <laughs> oh, beige, thank you. I worked so hard on it. Like, I didn't sleep. I cried. I relived so much. I feel like I just released a lot of stuff and moved on and let things go and it was actually a really hard video to make. Your videos and journey have been inspiring. Aww. I first met Amanita very young. Oh, cool. They are connected, right? Everyone says that they're connected to time travel. It's not just me. Like, that's a thing. Long story. I'm not at the end of it yet. Keep traveling, my friend. We can recreate the world. God, these chats just keep floating away. We can recreate the world with a big enough net of shroom dreamers, right? Cola, I feel you. Government is slavery. I'm a voluntarist. If you don't know what that is, look it up. 
I think everybody is once they realize how it can actually work. I don't think anyone wants government. Not only is government slavery, government is a cult and a religion. Oh, these messages just man. shining from the heart chakra, right? That's what we're doing, and we talk a lot about that when I hold ceremony. We talk about creation, and if there are no mushrooms in the forest, forest dies. Our forest has of humans have been dying for a long time. Yes, it was lovely, and I loved how you added your human vulnerability. It's beautiful. It's not that I add my human vulnerability. I just am my human. <laughs> because I lived through it. I don't know how else to be. Natural law. Yeah, you made it. Hey, Lily. Well, you're late to the party, but I pulled everyone's room um, for what you're supposed to be working on and focusing on from this summer solstice until winter solstice this year. So if you want me to pull your room, just say yes in the comments and I'll pull your room for you. And you, you can go look it up. Welcome. All right, I'm about to try that ice cream I made. I wish I could share it with you. Not you, but I already gave you your room. <laughs> okay, Lily, here's your room. Ready? Fly, did I not give you your room? Oh my God, I'm sorry. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'll pull it for you. Okay, we got others too. Um, okay, fly. Wow, I just can't believe some of these that just keep repeating. Fly, that's you. I knew my voluntarist friend was going to pipe up when I started speaking about it. All PPC. Well, now on the topic of voluntarism, do a little search for Larkin Rose. Larkin Rose is sort of the leader of that movement. Don't just stop it when his entire message is spread. Yeah, y'all should do that. Jennifer? Jennifer, Jennifer. Oh, you didn't ask for your room? Oh, I said to say yes, and you said yes. So you must have just been commenting at the same time, and we crossed comments with that. Oh my God, ghee. I have some ghee. I should have put it in there. I'll do it next. Not that one. I know. I'm sorry. Um, what is that one called? It looked like an N. Love the love, Sydney. Maybe I didn't word it properly. I just appreciate your honesty and transparency. I appreciate your realness. No, I get what you're saying, kindness. People say that a lot. I guess the only thing I'm trying to express is that I just don't know any other way to be. I see other people like putting on something for the camera and I don't know how to do that. Like I, I only know how to be me. <laughs> Garden plants, like we could, you are an interesting one. Well, okay. I think I'm boring. <laughs> okay, Karen, you're rude. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, let's try again. Who am I missing? Jennifer. All right, well, I'll pull yours again, Jennifer. I'm sorry I held it up to the side like that. Try it that way. Jennifer, that's you. It's hard to see, but it goes. Oh, there we go with the light. We keep decomposing and cleaning the spiritual forest where our ancestors walked a long time before us and worked with mushrooms. Yep. That's such a beautiful way to put that. I really like what you say. It's very similar to what I've been thinking when I have started to walk my spiritual path and it shows me that our perceptions are not our imagination, right? We're so gaslighted today to not listen to that. Our spiritual voice, our inner voice, and our perceptions. 
keeping it real. I would love to see you post about your Amnita experiences. They're all over um, AmnitaDreamer.net. I can't talk about it on YouTube. I've been, I have gotten so many strikes and been locked out of my channel so much that I just finally had to build my own website and move all of my good content over there. So just go to AmnitaDreamer.net. It's all over there. Everything you want is over there. You're welcome, Jennifer. <laughs> Sorry, I was holding it off to the side. I'm more concerned about these farmers using fungicides. I know, and like some of the places that I forage, I eat it and it makes me sick because it's got so many chemicals in it from runoff. It's, it's hard to find land that doesn't have runoff on it anymore. Garden plants, that youthfulness is, I don't know what that is. I've been that way my whole life, but also like Amanita. If you had met me before I started taking out and Amanita, Amanita, I felt very jaded and old, I think. I think my energy was older energy because I was just so exhausted, you know what I mean? Burned out. I'm going to get the ice cream, y'all. It's time to taste that homemade ice cream. If y'all didn't see the video of me making the ice cream, go watch it. I made... Vanilla and chocolate... This chocolate, I used um, Dutch cocoa, which the Dutch have their shit together with their chocolate. I used a chocolate called Who H-U, and I used ceremonial cacao that the user here called AUS Aus PPC sent me. I used all three. And... I'm gonna <laughs> my god the key to good chocolate ice cream is the vanilla so I put three times the amount of vanilla in here as the recipe calls for for vanilla and I make my own vanilla extract my god my god my god so fucking good look Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude. Um, I make my own vanilla. Y'all got quiet. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, had not asked yet, as we are still tripping about finding this live. Literally like a prayer for we need light, and this stream is here. Aww. Persona, persona, be real, vulnerable, brave, and if it doesn't work out, turn it off and walk away. Exactly. Hey, Strolls. Oh, my God. My Instagram friend. Pulled my own room a few days ago in front of a fire in the forest. Aw. Sorry it's shaky. I have to keep touching this thing to get the comments to come back. In respect to the runes, I want to wait some time until pulling new runes. No, you're right. Actually, we're going to do that at the ceremony that you're coming to. So if you want to wait for that, got to go. Bye, MPV. Aw. Bye. I'm going to have to get you my favorite eating cacao from Lake Atotal, and it's a different one to the one I gave you. Yeah, I want to taste that. That would be so sweet. Thank you. Oh, my. We need some of that. Yes, you do. I need to have ice cream in here sounds heavenly. It is. Uh, thank you, Garden. I think I did. Eleni, you made it. Holy shit. It's 427 in the morning and you feel like ice cream. I think that's a good thing to eat at 4 in the morning. Eric, feeling my age. I've been gardening all morning and my belly is full. I'm going to have a quick lie down. All right. Thanks for coming, Eric. Philip, where are you? Oh, you've got you're you're down in in Florida, Central Florida. Yeah, it's fucking hot down there. Man, I wish I could taste things. The cruelest thing about COVID. I know several people. Lily, yes, you do want ice cream. You want this? Yeah, I know several people with long COVID, and they're having the hardest time with it. But can I tell you a trick? Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. A little bit of research found that there's a gland up in the 
top of your nose and your sinuses that helps air move so that you can smell and smell affects taste that it is inflamed and closed they think that may have something to do with it if you can get you some anti-inflammatories that might help and amanita is an anti-inflammatory and ibotenic acid in amanita is a flavor enhancer just saying not that i know that it would help but like why not try the texas panhandle that texas heat man paul birmingham england first time with kath can i have a room please um so it's you and kath you need two Answer that question for me if you need to. I don't want to stop eating this ice cream. Clean rooms. Just one. All right, Paul Phillips. This is your room. You ready? My gosh. <laughs> this room is having a day today. Okay. Okay, she got hers already. Freya's at the door. Y'all want to say hi to Freya? She'll let me pick her up. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. Come here for a sec. Will you say hi? Nope, she's unhappy with me. Okay. She's, she's hungry. She's coming in from the heat. I'm going to eat ice cream for a moment. Elder Food Art, Jennifer. No. Hmm. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. Mm -hmm. This is the sugar-free vanilla. I know Freya's got that cute raspy voice, man. Until she wants to be like really clear, she can have a real clear. Mm. Oh my God. What is it about black cats? I bet vets are just so tired of black cats named Freya. <laughs> They're like, oh, a black cat. What's her name? Oh, Freya. <laughs> Jeez, this is so good. This is sugar free, but not sweet free. I don't know if y'all watched the video, but um, I sweetened this with honey um a sugar alcohol and then this birch syrup that's got like maple flavoring so this winds up being like pancake flavored or something john the uh, psilocybin high density and amity lower density um it feels like to me it feels like to me that amanita Hey, Liam, you can come get your water and coffee and stuff. It feels to me like with psilocybin, you immediately lift. Like it feels like your energy gets squeezed and then vibrated higher until you're vibrating with the higher parts of yourself that are not stuck in the meat sack yet. And it feels like Amanita takes you downward into yourself, into the underworld, through your trauma and darkness by working with your brain waves and helping you vibrate down into theta and delta and then leave your body and travel on this plane with the ancestors. So, in that way, while they do both vibrate with a lot of energy, they're vibrating on different energetic planes for different energetic purposes. Does that make sense? Did I 
cover that. I mean, I could talk about that for hours. And we do have in my community, my private patron community, we have a Zoom meeting on the first Wednesday of the month where we talk about high use and theogens and we get into all that stuff. Let me catch up with y'all. I was sitting on my laurels eating my ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straws, let's see. It says, interesting the energy coming out and then flowing into the fire, right? There's so much that goes on with all of that that I could talk about. We'll talk about that when we hang out together for ceremony. Um, John, did I cover that rightly? Oh, I love great tabbies. I love tabbies and tabby energy. Dreamer, I made Amity to tea. Nothing happened. What I do wrong? Candace, we could talk about that for hours. Um, I have a video called When You Get Nothing From Amanita. I'm not trying to avoid you or the topic. I'm just saying go watch that and you'll probably figure it out by watching that video. Um, yeah, there's so much I could say about that. Like, literally, we could talk for a very long time. Love how all oh, these comments going away. Come back. Love how we work. Amita works, no need for anything else right now. I know, right? John, glad it makes sense. It's hard to, it's hard to use words to describe stuff like that. I once met my very distant ancestors in a dream. It was honor hunting with them. Yeah, that's what I like about the Amanita is how you find your ancestors, you know what I mean? Ian, do you want me to pull your room, Ian? Welcome to my live. Okay, good, John. Oh, thank you, Sydney. And if you want me to pull your rune as your meditation from now until winter solstice, let me know. I don't know what you do with runes. Or if you use runes at all. There's still 49 people here. That's crazy. Oh, no, you can always ask, Candace. You just didn't know where to get the answer. Now you know. Trey, got a tinctures are easy, man. Tinctures are nothing. Seriously, tinctures are easy. Use it. Start small, work your way up. Okay, Ian. Pulling your room. Garden, I'll pull yours too. So this one is Ian. And garden. That's the first time we've gotten that rune, isn't it? We have been on here for 120 minutes. <laughs> that went really quickly. Did I miss some comments? Let me catch up. I think I'm caught up. We're gonna go soon, so if you have any more questions, let me know. Thank you, Simon. Um, Garden, did you draw it? Did you write it down so you can go look? You got to go look it up. I don't have time to interpret everybody's things. You know what I mean? Harmony Acres just quit advertising with me, so I haven't spoken to them. I don't know what's going on with them. Yes, yeah, Simon, we're about to leave. I'm sorry you just got here. It's delightful here now. What's the temperature? When's the next powwow? Um... So many questions. Let's see. When's the next ceremony? Is that what you mean by powwow? Um, next ceremony is in Montana at the beginning of July. I leave July 5th. Uh, as long as you still have time for yourself. I make time for myself. If I don't, I won't be. And then I can't do this for anyone else. You know what I mean? 
have a tincture and was the same. Took a while to use it, but it was fine. Now I use it a lot. Yeah. I just wish this mushroom didn't have the, the, the reputation that it does. It's so undeserved. Oh, Eve, you're welcome. I hope work goes quickly for you. Thank you, Natalia. You're still here? Thank you for still being here. All right. How do I delete spammers? Hide user. And delete. Cool. Got rid of the spammers. Tincture's great, yeah. All right, well. <laughs> if y'all only knew, when I first got on social media doing all this stuff, the amount of nastiness and scammers and comments and shit that I would get, I'd be like, why do people do this? And now it's just so much of it. That all I do, like I get up and I'm like, block, delete, block, delete. Like I go across all sh social media, block, delete, block, delete, block, delete. And then I start my day. <laughs> it's just like a necessary part of life like junk mail used to be in the mail. I want to know your personal opinion on this. I may not give it to you. Let's see. Where is the consciousness of people in a long coma? Um... Some people say that they don't have any memory of it. I've talked to a lot of coma survivors, and they don't know where they were. Um, some people are in and out. Um, some people talk about near-death experiences right before they woke up out of the coma. And so, I think, I think, it's just my own opinion. I can't really back it up with any reasoning, but I think people that are like in suspended animation, that some of their consciousness is trapped in a human body that's sort of powered down. If they are working on staying here and staying in their body, and they want to come back and continue living, that while they're in a state of suspended animation, that they are allowed some level of sort of travel but okay look it's my opinion that if you're not going to be in consciousness then you're supposed to not be here and you're traveling on the other side if you're not traveling on the other side then you're supposed to be in a density when you're in a density and you're stuck in a density but you can't be aware in that density and live through the ego then you can't simultaneously travel Therefore, there's a power down sort of amnesia where your energy isn't out there causing and experiencing. It's shut down. And I think that in those instances, decisions are being made about things like staying or going. If the answer is to stay and you power back up, then those people talk about traveling like we do when we take entheogens. Then they talk about the life reviews and the white tunnel and all that stuff as they're getting ready to re-enter their body. And then there's people that enter their body, but they stay awake for a very long time, aware of what's going on, but their brain has not powered back up yet for them to fully wake up yet. So... That's just like an uneducated, like, belief system, not based on much. But also, because I'm not a coma survivor, like, I feel like I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> oh, Natalia, I like you too. Oh, you're welcome, Simon. Cola. It's nearing the shortest day here, so it's been around three degrees centigrade. That's why you're getting haters. You think so, Rakeo? So you're in Southern Hemisphere? Yeah, y'all are getting close to your winter. There's a special spot on brains that's only active place when in deep, but some might not be in here at all. Yeah, interesting. 
Anthony Shane, right? Yeah, some people can't bring that shit back. I think that they get knowledge of things that aren't supposed to be here today, like in, in your ego, body, meat sack, you know what I mean? The veil. We little humans are heavily wrapped and it can be difficult to accept. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Makes sense though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. I remember you were having a rough time at first. You made it to the big leagues, Ma. You call this the big leagues? 25,000 followers is not the big leagues. Oh my God. I am rubbing elbows with the big leagues. Like when I hang out, you know, with um, fresh cap mushrooms and yarrow, the herbal Jedi, like those people are the big leagues. It's weird hanging out with them too. Like, I feel like a nobody. Like I'm gonna be doing a panel with Kevin Feeney. Like, it's weird. I'm not the big leagues, they are though. Like it's crazy. Sorry to be shaking the camera, y'all. I have to touch my iPad to find these messages. Um, let's see. Does she mean summer solstice? Yeah, Z, I'm in Northern Hemisphere, so we're doing summer solstice. Call, I look forward to tracking you guys down online. I feel a lot of love. Yeah, come see us on the community Mushroom Voice. Go to mushroomvoice.com. White tunnels when you gain your vision back. I've had it and was aware of it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I definitely want to know about that. Oh, you're welcome, John. It's just, a, just an opinion for what it's worth. Will I be trying the site wellness tincture? If they send me one, we were supposed to brand, have a brand deal together, and I was going to put my name on one of their tinctures, work with them, you know, to make one and, and put my name on it. But they haven't reached back about that. I'm waiting to hear from them about that. If they send me one, I'll try it. Um, I'm trying not to nod off. Had some high vibrational summer food. Yay! Bye, Lily. You're welcome. I was dead for a while. There was a guy at a desk sighted at me like, you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, I've had that experience too. Someone I knew was in a coma for a while reported recovering past life memories. Oh, shit. A couple centuries. Oh, cool. On your own trips, did you get knowledge of your past lives on other planets or for them only on Earth? No, I didn't get my knowledge of um, past lives until recently on some recent Amanita stuff, journeying, you know, and, and holding ceremony. I actually talk about that on a video that I just released. Um, shit, what video was that? Have I released that video yet? Thought I had. Well, okay, I recorded it. I could have sworn. I <laughs> Sorry, I thought I released that video. No, that's not it. I don't know where I put that video, honestly. I talk about that. I think that I put it on my, ch on my, my website about recently, uh, let me see. It, it should be in my recently uploaded on my website. Oh, that's flashing really bad. How do I keep that from flashing? I don't know. Okay, well that sucks. Um, recent uploads. That's psilocybin. A year later, I understand that one. What the elves took from me, the machine elves, what they took from me. A year later, I understand. I talk about that experience um, of also and then the importance of our ancestors. That one is right behind it. Reduce the light on the phone. Okay, here we go. The importance of our ancestors, that one, and then the one before it, a year later, I understand. And those are in the 
recently uploaded playlist. So if you go to my site, like that's what it looks like at the top. Um, let's see. I don't know what goes there. I think that that was supposed to be the ad for my community site. I gotta go fix that. And then it says recently uploaded. That's recently uploaded. So you'll find it there. All right. Oh, other planet. I have no access to any of my lives on other planets, but I do remember going to the Intergalactic Council and speaking there, but I don't know under what context or, or what was going on there. So I don't know anything about it. I was hoping that if I did ayahuasca, I would learn more about that, which I'm trying to find right now, an ayahuasca ceremony somewhere where it's legal or at least decriminalized. Do you want to go out, baby? This is Gracie Mae. She wants to go out. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll take you out, baby. Here we go. You can go. All right. Let me catch up. Candace, I'm glad you caught it too. Oh, let's see, in my mind there's a spiritual network, like the internet for trippers. <laughs> we are super impressed, me and wife, your pronunciation is spot on. Yes, we're in the Southern Hemisphere, we're a day ahead, right? So this stream is traveling into tomorrow, Maori Ora, aww. That's crazy, I'm already time traveling into tomorrow. <laughs> Valerie, we have the coolest community. You have no idea. Visual distortions are very common with Amanita, or is it more potent than I thought? No, I mean, Amanita is Amanita. Visual distortions happen with Amanita. Not for everybody, but for a lot. They do. They talk a lot because I talk to them and I don't talk down to them, you know, like I just talk to them. I have conversations with them all the time. When I cook, they gather around and every time I pull a spice out, I say, here, you want to smell it? And I'll let them each smell it. When we do treats, I'm like, here, catch. And they know, you know, they try to catch or whatever. I mean, they learn the language just like anything else would learn a language, you know. And they like that I interact with them and talk to them and they, they talk back and... Freya's actually trying to say words, like, words that are easy for her to make, not having a, a larynx, but that she can make with her mouth, like, yes and no, because she can go, no, like that, and, yeah, to try to say yes, like, she's learning English. Um, Gracie, the one that I just put outside, she's a tabby, so they're more talkative anyway. But I think they're just more talkative than most because I talk to them and, you know, in a normal tone of voice or whatever. Oh my God. I gotta stop eating this because I put sugar alcohols in it. And that is an inflammatory thing. So I have to use it sparingly. No, John, I haven't done DMT yet either. I want to do both. I just got to get somewhere where, one, I can get it, and two, it's criminalized or legal. Um, love your channel. Were you completely off benzos the first time? No. Um, or are you still titrating? I was titrating down. Have you seen my story? Um, I was still titrating down when I took Amanita. Um, go watch my trip report. It's on my website, amniadreamer.net, under I use and theogens, and I talk about not only my story, you know, but then I go on to talk about it in retrospect a year later about those kinds of questions. 
Thanks for asking, Chuck, and welcome. When they legalize psilocybin for medical, will you have therapy at your new place? Fuck yes. Um, oh, Candace, I'm so fucking sorry about your cat. Um, my, I had a cat named Ivy. Within two weeks of making my very first video as Amita Dreamer, she went missing. I spent that whole summer sweating out there from the mosquitoes and the heat all the way into fall every single day putting up posters and looking for her and I never found her and it gutted me. So I know anyone that's missing their cat. I am my elder cat. I had to put to sleep. I had to put her down this past December. She's buried out back. So I know that loss, man. It is gut wrenching. Yeah. Um, Cola's asking what your cat's name. Can you tell us please? I hear Siamese are very verbal. I've never had a Siamese. Layla, 16. Oh, Candace, my gosh. Wow, that's so hard. What a loss. You're welcome, Chuck. Oh my God, Jennifer, if you've got five tabbies, it's never quiet at your house. Oh my God, you have a cat named Wesley the Dread Pirate Roberts. Are you serious? Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepare to die. I just wanna say congrats on three years. Ah, thank you. Your channel has been so relatable and helpful to me. Oh my God, that's so great. Aw, thank you for saying hi and welcome. Candace, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you cry, but you know that they're with you. And, and, after talking to an animal communicator, I have learned that your cats really will reincarnate in your life multiple times in your current present body life. And my, First cat that I had her her whole life until she was 15 and she died in my arms and that gutted me. She's the closest animal I've ever had. And they said, the animal communicator said to do this. Any animal that you currently have living with you, look at them and say, have I known you before? And they answer you. Or you can say, what an, what animal have you been before? And I learned that Freya, she told me immediately before I could finish asking the question, told me that she was that first cat. Her name was Roxanne, my first cat. It just blew me away. Amber heard, oh my God, Pablo. Is Amanita affected? Well, actually the thing, Simon, is that um, there are, in my research, it looks like the, me researching the research, it looks like Amanita itself is an MAOI or boosts the actions of MAOIs, not the other way around. And one named Princess Buttercup, that's freaking great. Bradley, um, I, it, it was loud and clear. It hit me very loudly, like she spoke it into my head, like immediately, it, it was loud. It was undeniable and fast. Just ask. I asked her out loud and she answered me very loudly before I could finish even speaking. I can't believe y'all are still here. 50 people are still here. How are y'all not bored of me and my bullshit? Yeah, it is crazy. It made me cry. Pretty amazing. It makes me wonder now how many times that cat has been in and out of my life. Cool, Bradley. <laughs> We're just chilling, yep. We're past the stage of needing to entertain you. We all just hang out. This is what we do on our lives in my community. We just, um, one, not boring, and two, no problem. <laughs> not BS, oh, no BS. We just hang out. 
on Zoom, you know, where we can all see each other and talk to each other. So let me get this clear. You can see your other lives on Earth, but not on other planets. This is true, yes. Um, I get the feeling that I've been in training on Earth for this lifetime and that I'm not coming back to Earth after this one. And that whatever I was doing in any other planets was not, how do I put this? Not self-serving, more like indulgent, more like just sort of existing, right? And that I started hanging around Earth and got pretty abusive. I talk about this in those videos I told you to go watch on IoniaDreamer.net. I had a lot of lifetimes where I was just here having fun and drinking and playing and, and marrying people and leaving them and abandoning children and shit and just like raping people, stealing from people and vandalizing shit, drinking and, and you know, up to bullshit that I incarnated on earth and did that a lot. And then after that, in realizing the harm I was causing others, I started punishing myself and entering here into lifetimes where I became the victim over and over and over so that I developed a victim mentality and a woe is me, like a hopeless sort of mentality. And then this time around, my life was really rough to prepare me to heal and start actually serving the greater good and because I wanted to do that and end that victimhood and make amends to the people I hurt that I chose to come during this cycle of earth's uh, waves of pain and healing because it was going to be tremendously difficult but also the message would get spread rapidly and healing would be possible whereas earlier in Earth's history, there were hundreds of thousands of people on Earth, or then millions, now there's billions, and with the internet, I'm able to reach more people quickly and actually heal more people and, and send the messages of what the Earth has for all of us to use in these entheogens and help people find their own paths to their own healing. And that I could do that in larger numbers if I came here now during the great healing and the great shift and so that's part of the reason why i'm here but that after this i think i'm done with earth and i won't be coming back here as far as the time i went to the intergalactic council i only got a glimpse of it but i don't know what i was doing or why i was there will you ever stack blue and red no trey because you know how this mushroom the red one and thanks for choosing your words carefully this one the, the red one it's it hits those GABA receptors the same way that a benzo does. And you know, if you show up at an ER tripping on the blue one, they give you the benzo to kill it. So, if you take the blue one and then you take this one, you'll just kill it. However, there are people that are telling me that in low doses, one can boost the other and people are experimenting like taking this one first and then the blue one or taking the blue one and then this one and they can have a stacking effect but only in small amounts like it's there's a limit there where this one will cancel the other one out and like stop it but i have a story a lot of you have already heard it but when i was in canada i went to vancouver and i went to a mushroom store they have dispensaries there and I went in and bought mushrooms and I was gonna do them, but then we found all those Amanita. And so that last day in, in Vancouver, that whole flush, the 24 hour foraging video. So I never got to take the mushrooms. And when I was packing up and leaving to go to the airport, I was like, well, I'll just microdose. And I only pinched off like a small amount and took it. Well, I found out that that's one of the strongest strains of mushrooms that there are. So I started like low key tripping at the airport when I was supposed to be getting my COVID test. And I'm standing there in line waiting to sign up to get my COVID test. And I have this fanny pack on that's got galaxies on it. And I'm tripping and like colors. Are sh and the guy says, hey, nice fanny pack. And I went, woo. <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> like, oh my God. Oh, shit. Anyway, I got the test and I remembered thinking like, this is not cool. I can't go through 
borders and customs like this. And it was, I was starting to get scared. And I remembered I had Amanita tincture with me. So I took a lot of it and within 20 minutes, the trip was gone. So I know that this will end a trip. <laughs> I know firsthand that it will. I was very relieved. He's my best friend, and I'm sure he has elements of my last cat. I'm so lucky that most of mine live to 20. Well, Cole, I need to know what you're doing, because mine don't. They're, I mean, they live to 15 or so, because being around a shaman is healing, and that's why we are here. Well, it, here, like on my channel, or here, doing what you're doing, or both. I say both. That's why we are all here on Earth. There's a reason witches use cats. This is true. No, uh, Freya is my familiar. Every time I get out my herbs and stuff to make products for my store, which is open right now, by the way, this is the last day. It opened Friday, today, and maybe tomorrow, depending on if stuff starts to sell out. And then I pack everything up tomorrow and it goes in the mail Monday. So if you want to get anything out of the store, mushroomvoice.com. Anyway, when I go to make stuff, Freya shows up. No matter where she is or what she's doing, she'll show up and sit there with me. And she, she gets in loaf position and she squints her eyes. And I can feel her just moving this amazing love energy to it. She knows when I'm working, creating new products, she'll sit and look at it. She smells everything. And she'll paw at different things and look at it and watch and smell again and just sit there and like hold space with me. It's the craziest thing. I've never had a cat do that before. Thomas, it's not that Amanita repairs brain structure, it's the surgery that it does. Go watch my video on um, what Amanita does for us. It's on my website, amanitadreamer.net. I go into all into details about that. <laughs> Y'all are laughing at my story. Tincture will end in Amanita. Yeah. Well, not just the tincture, any Amanita, Amanita tea, whatever. Yeah, if you're on any other kind of trip and it's not good and you want to stop it, that's what Amanita will do. Yeah, psilocybe and uh, LSD. Uh, the serotonin, the things that hit serotonin, you know, but I don't know about ayahuasca, if it'll end in ayahuasca. I don't think ayahuasca ones are the kind that, that you freak out on and want them to stop. I don't ever hear that happening on ayahuasca. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Mm -hmm. Can I talk for a minute? I want to say support me financially if you can. Times are hard for everyone, including me. I got goals. But also, like, income is dropping instead of increasing. So if you can find a way to buy me a coffee, join our community, Mushroom Voice, or go to Mushroom Voice and buy a product, I would be grateful. Having said that, I want to thank you very much for the fact that it's been three years. And when I first started and I was talking to three or four people on my live, and my views were in the teens or the tens. And they've slowly been climbing. And some of you just keep coming back. Some of my videos are boring. I'm trying to teach you about nature and the woods and tea ceremonies and the importance of it. The importance of our ancestors. The importance of smoking. The importance of drumming. All of it. And so many people have stuck around for that and been willing to listen to this message and the importance of it. And it does my heart good because I feel like my channel is fluff. It's not teaching you how to grow your own food and practical survival skills. It's more about ethereal things, stopping panic attacks, yes, but also learning how to live life on a whole other level, which a lot of people believe is not possible while you're still struggling for your survival. And I'm trying to say, not only is it possible, but it's necessary. And because of you showing up, 
liking, sharing, commenting. You make it possible for me to keep reaching the people that are struggling and hurting right now and crying saying they can't take it anymore. And they get on YouTube to distract. And as little as YouTube will put the message out there and push my videos, it's because of the things you're doing that those people are getting my video pushed and they can find those videos and find what they need and make friends in these spaces. So thank you for giving me reasons to continue to do this because sometimes I wonder if it's worth it and why, you know what I mean? But then y'all all show up like this and you remind me you're real people. You're really out there. You're really paying attention. I'm not wasting my time. That this does matter. That I'm not crazy, you know? And I get a lot of imposter syndrome. And that, that anniversary video was really hard to make. Had a lot of fear about putting it out. It feels very self-aggrandizing. Like, But I'm still... I, I'm so happy to be celebrating three years now that like, it's from my heart. So, I don't know how to say thank you, truly, except to just say thank you. And that I love you, beautiful people. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna catch up on the comments. Uh, Sweet Dreams is the perfect one for starting out. Absolutely. That's the best way to start for people that are a little worried. You know what I mean? Nature videos are not boring. I'm glad. I need to get back out there and do another one. They just get so low views, it's hard to find the motivation to make them. I just go walk in the woods by myself, you know? Yeah, man, I'll buy you a coffee. I don't work and I spend 24 hours with my cat. That's a beautiful thing, spending 24 hours with your cat. I hate sometimes when I have to travel and leave mine. It hurts. I miss them. You're welcome, kindness. Thanks, D. Y'all are sweet. I love you back, too. I'm glad. It, the Amanita has been life-changing for me. It's the least I can do is just put information out there and let introduce you, and then you get your own relationship with it, you know? Thank you. Thank you, Judith. It's the first time you've spoken. Thank you. Hey, Justin. Cooking up a bunch of ambrosia. Oh, cool. Hi, Zonk. Y'all are also very welcome. Oh, Natalia. I can't recommend products that's practicing medicine without a license, especially detoxing stuff. I'm sorry. Yes, cats are sacred. I agree. On either blue or red, have you ever experienced the mind state of equanimity? Every time, which is a state where you don't love. Absolutely. In that state, yeah, absolutely. I get in that place not on them, just normally, but also on them. Very much. Though, very much, yes. You're welcome, Rob. All right, y'all, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for so damn long, my God. I can't believe the celebrations are over. Three years. On to year four, right? This is the year of the documentary. Wish me luck on that. Send me good good vibes to get that thing made. Lots of roadblocks and obstacles that I'm working to overcome. So, oh yeah, you're late to the party. We started at one, it is now uh, 3.45. Y'all are all very welcome. Hi, Connor. Bingo, aw. Yep, I'm working on it. Well, if y'all want to come say hi. Hi, George from Melbourne. Uh, come hit me up on communitymushroomvoice.com and use free week as your coupon code. And you can get a free week on my membership site. And you can pick a Zoom or three and attend them. 
My Zoom is the first Saturday of the month. So if you want to wait and use that coupon then and come see me then, that's cool. My store is open. It comes with a free postcard, sticker, and only for this month, a magnet for your fridge. I designed them myself. So if y'all want to go buy something from my store. Happy anniversary. I love you beautiful people. Thank you for being with me. Bye, y'all.